Oh, it's raining. All right. Hey everyone, it's Chris and Charlie here with Daily Motor, and today we have a Nose In 2022 Hyundai Venue Limited. Used to be called the Denim, but now it's called the Limited. It's a very small little vehicle, and um, it's raining outside, so we're gonna make this walk around brief. Yes, but here you go. A, a Hyundai Venue Limited walk around. Limited, yes, here it is. Uh, the roof is white, it's dark blue, and now we are getting inside of it. And Ow, and I just hit my hand really hard on the door. Mm, Ow. It smells like a Hyundai. Ow, okay. Now Chris has had a rough last 10 minutes, so oh. we're gonna make this review brief. And does it have heated seats? It does. Oh, you like them? thank you. Yeah. Look, also, physical climate control. I feel like we've driven this car. Well, we have. <laughs> I was gonna say we have driven this car. No, but like this this car, we like probably this have. exact. Car. It's probably the same one that we drove down at uh, down to Ohio and is already on the winding road channel. But yes, but that's a first drive. Beca yes, because you and I have already driven this car, it means we can uh, we can bring very. <laughs> You may astute details and observations to our viewers. You may need the defrost, the frost. The front defrost. How easy that is to do. How does this work? That's fan speed. Get it. Fan. Oh, it, I thought it rotated. No. What is it? Oh, it's here. Ah. Okay. Boy, I actually quite like the steering wheel. It feels kind of uh, like early twenty teens BMW. Very, like, it thick, looks early chunky. 20 teens BMW, yeah. and I like that it's blue. Yeah, I do. I yeah. do too. It's a very blue car. It is a blue car. This is a blue car. These don't extend. Well, this one doesn't, anyways. Oh heavens. Okay, so it is an SUV. Yeah, I think we have cladding, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I can't quite tell. It might be body colored cladding. Traction control. Is it fully defeatable? You do have one of these as well, I do. Charlie. We're gonna, we're gonna take advantage of that. Okay. So we don't technically have a CVT, do we? It's an IVT. It's an IVT, which is still a CVT in practice, but it's just with a. a yes, and power team. power goes only to the front wheels. Oh, that was... This is a quick car. Oh yeah. We get some fake shifts in there. We need to. Charlie's left foot braking. He's getting into the oh heavens getting into the mood here for racing well see i drove the mercedes very sedately today so i had to you know I to you were saving up. it up for the venue weren't you yes. yeah you were uh, yeah see this is another this is what happens <laughs> when you film at 4 48 p.m we are filming quite late today i really properly hit my finger on the door getting in and it really hurts I'm sorry to hear that How the revs what? die immediately as soon as you take your foot off the off the accelerator. It's right down to uh, the low side. Oh, that's it opens good. nicely. There is actually uh, a stack of Don't call pieces them the of sorry. There's this. <laughs> what do you? Oh God. Not a good setting. Too much traffic. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-three thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. If you guys can hear me over the. Uh, I'm trying 1.6 liter, 1. 6 liter 1. 6. 121 horsepower 113 foot pounds of torque I wonder if that makes this the non turbocharged version of the 1.6 that you get in the performance one days 1.6 is rally spec is it mm -hmm. so this is a rally car so yeah basically like off-road capable oh uh, yes oh my oh, god Charlie oh god some some understeer, all of the understeer. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to go about doing things. Ooh, it, it is, oh, it's so unhappy. It's so unhappy. Don't break it, I have to drive this home tonight. <laughs> this one only has 876 miles on it. Yeah. Great. 8,000 journalist miles. Uh, I'm just showing the viewers the, the window sticker instead of the road in the car. The sheet of paper uh, with effects of the car packages. We do have floor mats. Did you mention that to the viewers? Oh no, it does have floor mats. Oh god. And it has. 
has a o, an O deer handle. Oh, you hit him on a grip. No paddle shifters. Why is your handle on? <laughs> Where's this Mazda going? We don't have time for you, Mazda. I shifted you. Oh, thank you. I think it'll auto shift. I'm, I like shifting. You it like makes me feel like I'm driving a right-hand drive car. Would you like a downshift? Yes. Hands-free shifting. Get, get it right up to red line. Oh, sorry. Not bringing it out enough. Oh, it's never gonna hit red line in fourth gear. Eighty fourth gear. It's quite confident at the limit. Oh, sorry. Yeah, down shifts, down shifts, down shifts, all the down shifts. You didn't get me into first. I needed the power. <laughs> oh my god. I hope I got that on camera. I don't know yeah, where I, I was. I'm doing all this exciting driving and yet I'm not even the one filming. I don't know where I was looking. Okay, so now we're going to drive it like a normal person. Charlie, you should have filmed this review. Well, Daily Motor comes for the passenger seat. Yeah. It doesn't even smell hot. Oh, Charlie. Oh, it smells very hot on this side. <laughs> did you take this off? I did. <laughs> Why? I thought maybe you'd want to look at it. I thought it fell off from all of the driving. Turning your heated seat on wouldn't have worked today because you would oh, enjoyed that. Yeah, that's right. And there's no cooled seat to turn on. You smell that? Yeah, we're going to be nice to it now. It's not even running hot, though, or anything. Well, it's, it's nature's cooling. What did you just... Oh. Oh, there were drive modes. I, was, I wasn't even driving in sport. You weren't even in sport. <laughs> what a shame. I received a text from Hyundai telling me to drive the motor. No, this thing, I mean, obviously we're driving it like animals, or at least I was. I'm going to drive it nicely. I'm so. going to drive nicely. The steering wheel feels nice. In the hands, it's very soft. I actually, and I think, I think we commented on this last week, but I think this feels nicer inside than that Nissan Leaf did. Yeah, nautical theme. Oh yeah, this totally feels nicer than the Leaf. It sounds a little more grainy than the Leaf. Yeah, it does. A little slightly. less quick than the Leaf. Double paint glass? No. I don't know why you'd even assume that. I assume you got to get the proper Adjudication and evaluation. I know of you have vehicle to. That that's right. Yeah, our, our to be a, a, a good journalist. We have navigation. Yeah. Car. Is it windy today? I feel like I'm being thrown all over the road in this car. I think it is quite windy. Do you remember the Mercedes review when we stepped out and got accosted? Oh yeah. Daily Motor, where we'll tell you about a GLE 1583 in a venue review. Rear wiper. That's good. You, don't, you know, you don't always get a rear wiper. There's a lot of headroom in here. And a lot of features in this car. Headroom, features, and a low price as well. <laughs> $23,000 for a quite specced Hyundai venue. You know, I'm curious about the back seat. I'm gonna go check that out. Okay. Okay. How is it? Roomy. Really? Yeah. How's I assume your, that seat's all the way back. My how's knees, your leg room? My knees are hitting. Push forward. Okay. There you go. That's better. That's better. Now it's uber spec. Yeah. Map pocket. Well, you're not wearing a bunch of cologne and listening. <laughs> we can change. Of, we, we can change that. Other company. Other countries. What a fun seat design as well. Are you able to see? Uh, yeah. Look. Look at this. Look at over here. How, the zigzags. Yeah. And the little. Uh, no, it is quite nice. You know, this is a shame because I feel like most people don't know about this car. And it's our job to tell them. So I didn't know about this car. You know, you want to know a funny story about the Hyundai Venue What's that, the I, story? that I like telling? What? So I was at Starbucks one time, obviously. And um, I was walking out because it was, I think it was pre COVID. We went inside, got our drinks, whatever. And as I was walking out, parked in front of the Starbucks was a bright green Hyundai Venue. And I didn't know what it was because I had never seen one before. And at that point, you had fancied yourself as an enthusiast. That's it, yes, exactly. And I was like, why have I never seen this car before? So, and I was with one of my friends, I forgot who I was with, but I was talking to them and I was pointing at the car and the lady that, there was a lady in the car 
um, she liked this that I was pointing at her car so she got out and she said can I help you and I said yeah I was just wondering what kind of car that is she said oh well this is my new car it's a Hyundai venue and I love it and I said oh I've never seen one of those and she said neither had I until I bought one and um, she drove off looking very happy and she loved her Hyundai venue so that was the first experience uh, for me seeing a Hyundai venue and ever since then that's all I think about when I'm when I'm in one of these or when so I see one of these. you need to embrace your inner Starbucks lady. Yes, it was, she was an older lady. Okay. Like. I could see this being a good car for older ladies. Yeah, she was like our parents' age probably. Okay. I do have a complaint. Oh no. Upper left of you there, there's an indent for where the handle should be. Oh, but it isn't there. But it isn't there. I think so that's why a, tease you I think it's a cost indent. cutting thing because the Nissan Kicks uh, did the same. Oh, ice possible. Is it oh, that wow. cold out? 39. Yeah, don't you want to be outside taking photos, Chris? No. Okay. okay, well, um, we're going to spend the week with this car with its wipers on full. And, and tune in to see if we actually enjoy this more than the GLE 53. That's right. Important journalism. You could have nearly, you could have four of these for one GLE. Yes, you could. You could have one in every color. You could of the have seasons. a fleet of them. You could have a, you, it, it could be, be like, like, Figaro. like the Figaro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have the fall and the spring and the summer and the winter. Yeah. And this is that sort of quirky car that would be on brand to do something this like that. This is like a modern day Figaro. Yeah, it is. Okay. There should be a Figaro conversion company that like that takes makes your venues car and makes it seem like a '50s car. Well, you could. I think you could cut the roof off of this in the middle, and it'd be fine. Well, I care less about the convertible aspect. I suppose more like the cool gauges and oh, stuff. Like but the, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, you know, the roof in roof. many ways, this is similar to the Figaro. It's small. It's got a very anemic little four-cylinder engine. It's the same color. Two-tone. Two-tone. Um, Asian build. Yep. So basically... Automatic transmission. All right, so we're going to spend the week with this uh, Nissan Figaro, and we'll let you guys know what we think Sean after about six days. Yes. Con uh, congratulations, Sean and Katie, for being married. Yeah, congrats, Sean mm -hmm. and Katie. That's yeah. the one time I'll congratulate you. you got to find it buried in this yep. venue. So they'll, they'll never see it. But we'll anyways, see if Chris yeah. even keeps this portion of the video. <laughs> we'll see how he's feeling that day. Concluding our week with the 2022 Hyundai Venue, and it is kind of sad because I like this little guy mm -hmm. and I enjoyed uh, spending about half my week in it and um, genuinely I'm sad to see it go. It's, it's a happy-go-lucky, plucky little car and what it really is, is it's the hatchback replacement. It's locked itself. It's sad that it's leaving too. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is if, ten years ago. You and I would be driving some, an, an accent hatch mm -hmm. instead of this, right? Which they still make, but they want to push this sort of thing. And, and we need to talk about that in our wrap up here of why you buy this over even an Elantra. Yeah. But yeah, there's there's a simplicity to it all. It's very chunky. It's very mm -hmm. satisfying. You feel like you can just hop in, toss it around, and I really think people underestimate the value in that. I mean, it's kind of the reason I like my Maverick is even though the Maverick's arguably a little bit nicer inside, there's just the way everything's sort of Lego-y, yeah. tough, durable, simple feel, you just feel like you hop in, you press the start button, you go, everything's working, it's yep. tight inside. It's just, it's just an car. Yep. yep. And I, I don't, I mean that in the least, least cliche way possible. The least cliche. Least cliche. A little chilly on these uh, denim seats. Yeah, it is. You have my public radio, which you have to listen to when you're driving a car like this. <laughs> I couldn't believe the amount of standard features in the limited trim of the venue for twenty-three thousand well, dollars. That's a bit oxymoronic, saying standard features <laughs> in the top-level trim, but okay. <laughs> but it's only twenty-three grand. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have lane keep assist, mm -hmm, which works. You okay. have automatic brights. You yep. have forward collision assist. Mm -hmm. You have. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is pretty standard nowadays. But and still. navigation built in. That's what I meant to say. You've got built-in navigation and you've got heated seats as well. And you Charlie have drive modes. Using some of his. We've got three drive modes, mm -hmm. normal sport and snow. And um, I just think that, you know, leather steering wheel, 23 grand. I mean, it's just, it seems, it seems very, very cheap for like some of the things that you get in here. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Automatic climate control. That's another thing. Yeah. And another thing. <laughs> so 23 grand, you're talking about all the things it offers. The strange thing about that is you can get a Hyundai Elantra 
which you've driven the Elantra. You've spent quite a good amount of time in one. Yes, I have. That starts at about $20,000. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. So that means you're getting more fuel economy. You're getting a larger car because this is a subcompact. That's a compact sedan. So yes, maybe you can fit a little bit more tall things in this car. Yeah. But you can fit longer things in the Hyundai because it's a longer car. Uh, let me see. Let me bring up some prices here. The launch starts at 20000 plus destination. Specs. No, trim. This is two trims. Compare. The SEL is about the same price as this, right? What is this actual out the door? $23,500? Okay. So an Elantra SEL with convenience package is going to be getting you the forward collision warning, a 10 inch digital gauge cluster, the 10 inch screen with navigation, adaptive cruise control, leather wrapped steering wheel, wireless charging pad, heated front seats, heated mirrors. How much is that car? Same same price as this. Really? Yes. Okay, well, mm -hmm. um, we're Paris and Nicole buying Elantra. I'm just, I, I guess I just want to point that out because I didn't know that. Yeah, we, we thought the Elantra was more expensive because it's like it's because they always give us like limited hybrids and stuff, and they cost like, like thirty grand. grand. Yeah. Right, but the Elantra starts at twenty, and this venue is very good. I don't want to take away from that. And if you're someone who just really, for whatever reason, you dig the tallness, you dig the boxierness, like that's fine. Okay. Also, that's is that supposed to be a tail? What is hanging off of that? Oh, I think it's a, a tiger it's tail. A furry? Yeah, I Are think I think they're letting us know that they're a furry. Okay, that's that's good. Did you know they had a furry convention in Ypsilanti last year? Yes, I did. Area? Yeah. I kept seeing them. There was one in Chicago recently as well while I was there. A furry? No, a convention. Okay. Yeah. It's like I'm drawn to them or something. Sure. Well, furries are allowed to watch Daily Motor, you know? You, you, it's true. You do. Yeah, no, we're not judging you. We're just, yeah, you know, just pointing, out. pointing out that you exist. And we're not judging you if you buy a Hyundai Venue either. It's just, I would like to know the rationale of, I would rather pay more just to get the boxierness, the boxability of a car like this. Is it potentially for old ladies? It is probably a small bit easier to get in and out of, you know, than a right. sedan. So it's like the Elantra for old ladies. Yes, if you're an old lady and you'd like a Hyundai Elantra, get the Hyundai Venue. It's also good. Why is it so hot in here? Because I had the heat out. I'm sorry. Heat I turned it off, but it's still it's hot. still so hot. There you go. It's so hot. Yeah. Uh, and you know me, when I get hot during car reviews, I get quite cross. Yeah, you do. Especially when you're in a Subaru. Yeah. Yeah, there, there is a... I do like the seating position in this car, and I like the, the materials that you touch. And... It, it does just make for a very easy driving experience. And another thing I want to point out, that's good, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Adding color to an interior does a huge number for a cheap car versus an all black. It does. Think of that Nissan Leaf we had last week, $37,000, and that interior was dreadful. Yeah. This is half the price, nearly. And just by adding color, it's still cheap, hard plastic. Yeah, but it's nautical themed. Yes, and I, I, I just so much rather be in this. I do quite like to have a blue steering wheel. Yeah, the blue steering wheel, the blue around here, the, the light headliner, I think, really adds to the, the sort of lightness and airiness of this car. The, the viewability is good. There's a lot of viewability. And yeah, I, I really have no qualms with this car. I just think it's strange that you can have more for about the same price and yet like I just don't see why someone would choose this other than maybe it just speaks to you like that like that lady that you you met who had one that's right hers she just green liked as it. well the green helps yeah hers was like bright ass green yeah so if you're gonna get a Hyundai venue at least get one in a bright color and this color is okay I like, no, this I like, color. This I like the denim yeah I like the two-tone it's it's funky I would just buy an Elantra that's just me you get an Elantra end line for 23 grand? No. You oh. can, yeah, I was gonna say you can get one if that's your question, but not for 23 grand. They're probably like 26. 
Hyundai Elantra N line. And mind you, these are 2023 prices. Is this this is a 22 or 22 gonna, venue? Yeah. N line starts at 28. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So the Hyundai Elantra Hybrid starts at $24,000. So for an extra $1,000, you could have the Hybrid Elantra that you spent a lot of time in, got like 50 40, miles per gallon. Yeah, gallon. high 40 MPGs. Right, on the highway. Yeah. MPG, and the, and a base Elantra would get better fuel economy than the one you drove because of the wheels. Oh, right, right. Yeah, so I, it's it's just interesting that people, are, people will pay a premium for the boxiness. But it's not like you're getting all-wheel drive. We are getting a mechanical handbrake, so that's something. Yeah, did you use that at all? Yes. Hmm. I think okay. I used it with you when we shot yes, the engine. Yes, you did. No, yeah, you did. That's right. Multiple times. I'm going to leave it to Chris to come up with the rub on this car. Oh, God. Your buddy Matthew doesn't like the wheels. Yeah, that's true. But he's also a Kia salesperson, so we can't... He's we can't. always cross about Hyundais. Yeah, so okay, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that'll wrap it up for the Hyundai Venue. Uh, basically just, uh, if you like boxes and if you like to be higher up, then, uh, and, oh, and if you're an old lady, yes, then <laughs> this would be the Hyundai for you. It's got a white roof. Mm -hmm. We'll remind them of the, their white hair. Their... <laughs> I was gonna say it'll, it'll remind them of their youth of like all the cars with white roofs. Is that a thing that was a lot? Yeah, I guess back yeah. in like the 50s. Back in the 50s. Are, okay. are women that were young in the 50s alive still? Or are we kind of getting past that now? I Maybe think so. Maybe in the 90s yeah. now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're around. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that'll wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. For Chris and Charlie, Daily Motor. And as always, box on. And buy an Elantra. Mm -hmm.